Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the last day of the creativity wake up call launch party. It almost feels like the last day of summer camp or like when you're on a retreat or something. So um, I really want to start by thanking all of you for being here. Thanking for you who are here live, who woke up and really took the dare of um, starting your day with creativity. And I also want to thank all of you watching the replay because I know that I've seen some of you there and say hi, click the thumbs up or the heart button. And I'm so grateful for all of you for sharing this process. And so today we're going to integrate the steps from both Monday and Tuesday. Oh, hi, Carol. Hi, Deborah. Thank you for being here. And we're going to take the steps from day one and day two and integrate that message that we can take forward with us. And we're going to integrate it into um, a collage inspiration card. I do this process a lot, so I actually have my own deck. But before we get started, let's just take a moment and settle and come into the present moment and tap in to that creative wisdom that creative wisdom that's been guiding our process for the past few days and that is always there. And that our creative wisdom is a place we come from. It's not a place we go to. And so having that sense and feeling that creative wisdom Let's come from that place. And may we share that creative wisdom so that it is of benefit to all beings. Thank you. Thank you so much for setting that intention. So let's do a quick recap of what we've done the past few days. So Monday, we started with the question, what do I need most for my highest good and healing journey? And we allowed our creative wisdom through the soul scribble to answer that question and really give us a message that bypasses our thinking mind, that maybe supports some other information that we already had. And then we took that message and brought our awareness to it throughout the day. So for me, my message was all about a snail and emerging from my shell. And as I emerged, I came face to face with my inner critic. So my awareness was looking at all of the signs and symbols along the way to help me engage with my inner critic, to befriend it even more. So then on day two, we had the opportunity to connect with all those messages and symbols and add to our original card. So this is how mine ended up. I actually put on some, oh, I'm, I have my camera reversed, so I'll never figure this out spatially, but you can see the gray hair that I added from that crone oracle card that we pulled yesterday, because that hair reminded me of mine. So I just had fun and created this and hopefully you were able to add some meaningful symbols and images and words to your card. And what we do today is, you know, everything changes. So we're going to let that go and we're going to integrate the messages in here from the past two days and create that Oracle inspiration card. So one of the things I suggest, and this can be hard. I mean, I'm kind of attached to her. I really, you know, I put some energy into this. Um, and yet I know that everything changes and the next step is to integrate and not hold on. 
the same time, you can take a picture of this before you get started. So you kind of have the steps of the process along the way. And another thing that I just share that's helpful for me, and I'm going to pull my camera down. Okay, let me see if I can get a little further. Um, you may not be able to see on here, but um, the word that came up for me through this process is emerge. And so that's the word that I'm going to create for my card. Now I measured, so I measured, like I said, I did it very lightly. You may not be able to see. I measured some lines and I also very lightly sketched my word in pencil. And I did that because I know myself spatially. If I didn't do that, I'm not sure that I would have enough room on the card. But that's an option that's totally up to you. So if you want to take a few minutes and, you know, if you don't already know what word you want to put on, just allow that process to come, whether you're taking a picture of your card or sketching out the lines. And it may also come, if you don't have it, in this next step. Or maybe your word is going to change. We can, you know, everything changes. So you may think you're going to put a word on and it could change. So the next step is, and I have a scissors, but you can start. We just start putting our card into pieces. We're allowing for that integration. And so I'm using a scissors because it gets some rough ends. You know, I'm left-handed, so scissors has always been a challenge for me. I'm, because I've never had a left-handed scissors. So I'm just cutting the pieces and there may be, you know, I got, I, I do have some attachment to my cardinals. I've been drawing them. So I may leave a cardinal out. Um, we'll see that I want to put on. So go ahead. I also have my spider's web, you know, from that really powerful walk in the park. But I'm just cutting this up in any way. You know, um, yeah, I'm cutting around, you know, her gray hair um, and just putting this in, into pieces and seeing how this really unfolds. So we just cut this up. And you know, the, the benefit and you know, people who have done this process, I've been doing this process for a couple months and it has been so helpful for me thinking about my healing journey of just bringing to light some new ways to sort of um, look at my process, look at what's happening in my life. And I know on one of the days for me, um, I don't remember the exact message, but I do know on that day, I had a courageous conversation um, at work that I had, I had been putting off. So there's really some benefit that can come from just this simple process. Okay, so when you have your pieces and you can just cut them up any way, any shape, and you know, I love collages. I make collage cards. I know I've made some cards for some of you who are here. So collaging is so much fun. And I have this whole, these are all the scraps from my cards that didn't make it onto the card that um, at some point I'm going to do something with, make a collage, I don't know. So now what you're going to do is you have these pieces and however it fits for you, you can make big pieces, you can do, you know, uh, almost a whole letter in one word. And maybe, you know, as you were cutting, maybe you saw something that, oh, maybe I'm going to put this word on instead. So feel free to drop your word into the chat, um, into the comments, I mean. And so then we start, and the one thing I forgot, but I have, um, I'm going to use this plastic lid, just something to glue on. So 
this is my favorite glue stick. It's an Uhu stick, and I just like it because it, it just works well. But if you're using Elmer's glue or any kind of glue stick, and then you just start building the word. So um, we're not gonna be able to finish this by 7.15 but I'll finish mine and I will um, drop it into the comments section and I'd love to see your card too. And remember this process is about awareness, connection and integration for our, our healing journey. And one of the things um, to state too, well, and if you want access to the three-part video series of this course, the link to, to access that, I'm gonna come back up here. The link to access that is in um, the about section of the Creative Synergy Group. I'm so grateful that you are, are all a part of this group. Oh, cool. I see. Thanks, Carol. Patience. Great. Oh, Deborah. Yep. Cutting it up. It's definitely the hard part. I know I was attached to mine today. But one of the things with Facebook Live, and I'm so grateful that I can finally see your comments, is I'm a people person. I really love the connection. So you can access the course online and do it, have it every day. You can do it at night or in the day, anytime. But I also want to offer what I'm going to call the Creative Synergy Happy Hour. And so in a few weeks on a Friday afternoon at about 4 o'clock, we're going to have an open studio on Zoom where we can interact a little bit more. We'll do some meditation. We'll pull some cards. We'll work on a creative process. And I'm really looking forward to connecting with you in that way too. So I'm going to keep finishing my card. Um, any of you who are making this, um, please, as I said, feel free to share your card and come back to this message. This message is something that you can really take with you um, throughout your day. Oh, great, Deborah. Yeah, I just, um, I'll be putting it out and it'll just be a Zoom. You just click on the Zoom like we hop on, we can talk, we can share. It'll be the end of the week, um, you know, and because um, I'd love to get to know you all more and really have that time of interaction and maybe we'll make a collage card you know you can add to these cards too I'll just show you as we're hopping off I didn't realize at one point when I did my dare card that I had used another soul scribble for the back and so that gave me some ideas about how we can take this process further so enjoy your day. Once again, I have so much gratitude for all of you here, for all of creative, for all of you in the creative synergy circle. And let's all come from that space of creative wisdom. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye everyone. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep working on my collage my emerge. I guess I'm emerging. So have fun and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.